हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आय रुचि गोस्वामी वेलकम यू ऑल टू येट अनादर वीडियो ऑफ योर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट टुडे वील टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट इज ह्यूमन बॉडी सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स यू नो वॉट आर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ मैनी ऑर्गन्स एंड एवरी ऑर्गन हैज इट्स ओन फंक्शन they all work together to help us perform our daily work we have two type of organs some are internal organs and some are external organs external organs are skin hand leg eyes nose and internal organs are kidney liver brain lungs etc these soft organs are protected by skeletal system and also muscular system so today we'll discuss three systems of our body that is skeletal system muscular system and also nervous system so let's begin students let's talk about skeletal system first it is the framework of bones in our body it gives us shape and support without a skeletal we would be a piece of limb cloth not able to stand or sit without skeletal system our body will not have shape and we will not be able to sit and stand and also to do any kind of work an adult body has 206 bones and like muscles skin and soft organs our bones also need a supply of blood these bones are made up of cells and the bones also have blood vessels and nerves inside them our bones are filled with a substance called bone marrow it also produces rbcs that is red blood cells students our bone stores phosphorus calcium and other minerals that is required by our body and the skeletal system consists of four main parts that is the skull the rib cage the limbs and also the spine now we will talk about all four main parts of the skeletal system the first one is skull skull is the bony framework of our head it protects our sensitive brain and it have holes for eyes nose mouth and ears there are total 22 bones inside this which are interlocked and the lower jaw bone is the only bone that is movable it has teeth inside the skull the skull is made up of eight bones the skull protects the brain which controls all body functions in a newborn baby the top of the head may be soft but the bones soon join together the human face is made up of 14 bones they protect the sense organs the bones are all joint and therefore immovable only the lower jaw bone is movable this enables us to open and close our mouth and therefore to eat and to speak after skull let's move to the next topic that is our rib cage which protects our heart you know students heart is the most sensitive organ in our body so let's study about rib cage the rib cage ribs are thin and curved bones that form a cage in the chest called the rib cage the rib cage protects our heart and lungs most people have 12 pair of ribs a long bone at the center of the chest it holds the ribs from the front the ribs are also attached to the backbone at the back however the last two pairs of the ribs are not attached to the sternum and so are called floating ribs you can feel your ribs by running your fingers across the chest i hope you have understood about the rib cage 
Now, let's talk about spine. The backbone or spine. The skull is attached to the backbone. The backbone or spine is made up of 33 bones called the vertebrae. The bones are arranged in such a way that the spine is flexible. This allows us to bend forward, backward and sideways. The spinal cord links the brain with the rest of the body. Automatic action in our body are controlled by the spinal cord. As reflex action is automatic action, for example, when we touch any hot object, our hand moves automatically. In reflex action, messages do not reach to the brain. They are received by the spinal cord. An action is directed by spinal cord itself. Students, we have understood about the spine. Now let's move to the next topic that is limbs. The limbs. We have a pair of upper limbs or arms and lower limbs or legs. The arms have long bones. The humerus in the upper arm and the radius and the ulna in the lower arm. The wrist has eight bones, the palm five and the fingers 14. You can count the bones and the joints in your fingers. Similarly, the legs have the femur or the thigh bone and the tibia and fibula, the two bones from the knee to the ankle. The ankles have eight bones each the feet 5 and the toes 14. There is also a patella or the kneecap. They both are joined by ball and socket joints. The top part of the limbs is rounded like a ball and fits into the cup or hollow or socket in the griddles. This allows circular or rotatory movement. This is how we can rotate our arm and throw a ball. In the same way, the legs can be swung in all directions. Students, we have learned about all the parts of the skeletal system in detail. Now, let's see what is the importance of that skeletal system in our body. Let's see the point. Firstly, it gives shape and support to our body. Secondly, it protects our soft organs like ribcage protects our heart. Bones contain bone marrow which produces RBCs. Bones store minerals like calcium and phosph phosphorus. Bones make movement possible. Like it makes sure that our body can move easily. Now what are the importance of joints in our body? Let's see this. Children. We know that bones can be movable or immovable. The bones of the skull have immovable joints. They are immovable in order to protect the brain. There are tissues called ligaments. These ligaments join the bone at movable joints. Movable joints can be of different types. Children, first we'll talk about hinge joint. As we all know that we can bend our arm at the elbow in only one direction. In the same way, the leg can also be bent at the knee in only one way. These are called hinge joints. Like the door hinges, they fall in only one direction. Another type of joint is ball and socket joint. A ball and socket joint consists of a bone with a ball that fits into a socket or cup in another bone. The shoulder and hip griddle have these joints. Another type of joints are pivot joint. Pivot joints are found in the wrist and the ankle where the bones glide or slide over one another. 
the vertebrae also have this kind of joint. Now we know how many types of joints are there and how they work. Now before ending the session, let's revise what we have learned today. We have learned three systems of human body and also four parts of skeletal system and the three types of joints. Now, in the next session, we will learn about the muscular system and also central nervous system. Till then, take care and keep learning. Thank you.